All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. I want to do a quick video and talk about this because this is something that kind of gets me sometimes. And I got to tell you, I spent a few years without writing. A few years, maybe three, four years, maybe a little bit longer. I don't even know. I guess I got to add it all. But as I'm coming back to driving, everything is coming back so good. It's, you know, the saying is like riding a bike. It really is. It's like riding a bike. It comes back to you. I already pulled a couple... I want to say at this point, I don't know, a thousand something, almost two thousand miles on this bike, and I'm enjoying it very much. I just can't wait until I get some money so I could do some modifications to the bike. But you guys know everything going on right now. This is not the right time to be spending money. But I'm going to tell you, you know, one thing that, a, a couple things that have come to me as I'm going back into riding. One is always the right turn which, you know, I'm getting better already, and, you know, a lot of uh, the friction's on, utilizing my rear brake and things like that is helping out. There's a couple guys that have gave me some tips, and again, you know, calculating the right speed, all that stuff, that is simple. But one thing that I was talking to a friend of mine that it always kind of like nerve-wracking in a way is traffic lights, and I'm not talking about this one. I'm actually gonna put a B-roll of one that I got close to me that it's always kind of like, oh, what's going to happen, right? And essentially, it's a blind blind turn. So you come to this curve, there is a light. And again, you know, when I see a green, I don't know how long the light has been green. I don't know if it's going to turn right away or if it's going to take a little bit. I know for a fact, being around here, obviously, and always riding through there, I know the light, it takes forever to go into red. And I, I know the, the green light lasts for a long time. But... Like I said, I don't know that. So, for example, you know, right here, I can see the green light. So, I kind of could calculate in my brain is green. I got so much time to slow down. Oh, in this case, i just going to go for it, right? And that's typically what I do. I'm just going to kind of speed up a little bit. I'm not going to go crazy, but I'm going to speed up a little bit. And I'm going to take the, take the light because stopping a motorcycle is not like stopping a car, right? It, it takes a little bit. Of control and it takes a little bit of skill so I kind of always do that like right now we see the yellow obviously I'm slowing down but like I said you know back in that light that I'm talking about you have a turn a curve this light is there out of nowhere we have a light that is just there we don't know how long has it been green we don't know when it's gonna turn yellow and red so I typically try to speed up to kind of like again you know kind of pass the light and kind of clear that intersection because again if it turns yellow uh, i mean it takes a lot to turn a motorcycle or to stop a motorcycle so a friend of mine was asking me that we were having a conversation man gorgeous bikes and he was asking me hey fabian what do you do you know you come into a light you see the green light what exactly do you do and my answer is kind of like i tend to kind of speed up a little bit to clear the light and get out of the way a lot of times if I'm riding on this turn or in this lane right here and I'm coming to a light, what I like to do, I don't know if this is the, the right thing or not, I like to kind of position myself on this lane back here in case vehicles coming down from that way. Again, I'm not a professional, it's not like I'm an instructor or anything like that, so I'm kind of seeking out some information from you guys. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comment section below because I got to tell you, you know, the light kind of gave me a little bit nervous because once again we don't know right and stopping a motorcycle it takes a little bit of skill especially a road king is, is is a heavy bike and all that so what do you guys do when you come to a traffic light do you guys kind of slow down do you guys speed up let me know down in the comment section below and as always god is in control